so let us solve this example okay of a scalar valued function so in this example uh, just like a previous video we have seen uh, how to prove how to show that given limit does not exist so here also we have to do the same thing as like our x y tends to 0 0 we have to prove that this limit does not exist so let us start to do so uh, let us consider first limit x y tends to 0 0 okay 0 0 and function so let us put the definition of f what is the f here what is the given f here it is x square upon x square plus y square minus x okay so let us see uh, we have to put something here so that the entire expression will be converted into a only so see what i am going to put here i am going to put putting i am putting uh, what shall i put y is equal to i am putting x plus mx square i hope it will work and the entire expression will be converted into m so let us see so therefore the limit is equal to limit is equal to what will you have limit the entire expression is converted into x so that's why simply i will mention x tends to zero so let us put the value x square upon x square plus y square is x plus mx square minus x right so tell me what will happen yeah obviously you as you can see here x and minus x will get cancelled to each other right and we are having x square in numerator and denominator also we can take x square common right so yeah hmm. so x square x square we can easily cancel so this is equal to limit x tends to 0 1 upon 1 plus m so yeah or x we have cancelled from numerator and denominator see if you apply the limit so there is no any x so the expression is independent on x so if you apply the limit you will have same this is same as 1 upon 1 plus m so see if i consider m is equal to 0 then the value of limit will be 1 upon 1 plus 0 that means 1 only okay so for m is equal to 0 we are getting the value of limit is 1 so tell me what will happen if i consider m is equal to 1 so if i consider m is equal to 1 in that case the limit will be 1 upon 1 plus 1 that means 1 by 2 so that means if you take m is equal to 2 you will have different answer m is equal to 3 you, we will have different answer that means for different values of m we are getting a different values of limit so it is not possible if limit exists getting now already in uh, uh, last video we have seen if limit exists it is unique but here we are getting multiple answers so therefore we will declare limit does not exist okay so for different values of m we get different limiting values right different limiting values so therefore we declare therefore limit does not exist limit does not exist and this way we finish so make a screenshot of it and after that we will solve one more example okay so let us try for this next example so again we have some function uh, definition of function f of x y and we have to prove that the limit does not exist here again so let us start to solve so always we consider first limit right limit x y tends to 0 0 f of x y so obviously our next task is to put the value of f of x y so limit x y tends to 0 0 what is my f of x y minus x upon root x square plus y square so i think it is comparatively simple problem so you can also tell me what we have to put here yeah try to say what we have to put shall we convert the entire problem in terms of y oh, sorry x so i'm putting y is equal to simply mx okay so therefore therefore limit okay the limit means the above limit is equal to limit see the entire problem is uh, converting in, into x so that's why i will consider simply x tends to 0 so minus x upon root 
x square plus here I am putting mx. So this is m square x square. So this is equal to limit x tends to 0 minus x upon root. Tell me can I take x square common? Yeah, obviously I can take x square common. So x square if I take common, we will have in bracket 1 plus m square. Okay, I will write the next step here. So limit x tends to 0 minus x. So here square and square it will get cancelled right and we will have simply x but see whatever the x we consider that should be positive only okay so that's why i will write here mod x root 1 plus m square so here maybe you will think that xx will get cancelled yeah definitely we can cancel xx but see here plus or minus 1 upon the root 1 plus m square since we don't know the sign of x either it is positive or negative we don't know really so it can be anything so that's why when we cancel i need to write plus minus already minus sign is there but it doesn't matter we will have plus minus so let us apply the limit if you apply the limit or uh, normally we put x is equal to 0 there but there is no any x so it's independent on x so you will have same so plus minus 1 upon root 1 plus m square so for actually no need to put here values different values of m since already we have got plus minus it that means limit does not exi exist actually but then also i will put for m is equal to 0 limit is equal to plus minus 1 you can easily see and for if i put limit m is equal to 1 what will happen limit is equal to plus minus 1 upon uh, root 2 so that means different values of limit we are getting in this case also we are getting plus minus we should have a fix any number 2 3 or minus 1 minus 2 whatever but it should not be multiples okay since unique is limit uh, sorry limit is unique so we are getting exactly contradiction to that fact so that's why we will declare limit does not exist here so therefore limit does not exist so in this way we proved so make a screenshot of it and after that we will stop